Joe, can you help us understand a little bit about treatments for ROS1 rearranged lung cancers? Yeah, happy to. You know, ROS1, even though it's uncommon, as you pointed out, uh, we do have some targeted therapies that that can be effective, can be quite effective, actually, for these mutations. And, and actually, um, some recent developments of some even newer drugs. Um, the first drug that was approved to be shown effective for ROS1 is an older drug called crizotinib. Um, crizotinib is used for a couple of other kinds of mutations, and it really has been around for quite a while. Um, a newer drug was developed and approved specifically for WAS-1 called entrectinib. And entrectinib has some advantages over the older chrysotinib drug. Um, one of the big ones is that it penetrates the brain, which can be a problem um, with this kind of lung cancer because it, it does have a tendency to spread to the brain, whereas chrysotinib really doesn't have that benefit. And although they haven't been compared head to head, we think entrectinib is probably a little bit more effective uh, than chrysotinib. Now, more recently, a drug called repotrectinib has been approved for treatment specifically of ROS1 mutated lung cancer, and, and it too hasn't been compared to the older drugs, but it does have some potential advantages. And one of the big ones is that it's effective against resistant forms of ROS1. So as with all of these mutations, unfortunately, treatments can stop working. And, and usually that happens because another mutation occurs within that gene that the current drug is no longer able to, to work against. And repotrectinib has been demonstrated to um, be effective against the most common of those types of mutations. So, so this is a, a new drug in our armamentarium, we think an important addition. But there are other drugs also, um, both in development and available, that, that can be used uh, for this. An, an important one is a drug called lorlatinib. Lorlatinib is approved for a different mutation called ALK, but it has been shown that when some of the older drugs like chrysotinib stop working in ROS1, lorlatinib can also be effective. So this has actually become fairly complicated for what is a pretty rare kind of cancer, but it's great that there are more and more options available. As always, um, if you need to change treatments, or have an opportunity, it really is worthwhile looking um, at potential clinical trials because there's a lot of active research with even newer drugs that we hope will be more effective uh, in this space.